Okay, so I want to clear up some things about this abortion debate, and it's not about uh, saving life. In fact, I think it's quite the opposite. Uh, what's happened is uh, 25 male Republican senators would restrict abortion even in the cases of rape or incest. And I even read Dr. Gu put on his uh, Twitter line that if a woman has an ectopic pregnancy that has to be re-implanted. Now all they're trying to do here is maintain birth rates so the dots aren't connected to Wolbachia. Because Western men are suffering 60% drops in sperm counts, except for in Denmark, where there are no Culex tarsalis and rare Culex species. There's a number of species within that genus. Now, here's the thing that gets me, is uh, I'm being accused of being all these horrible things, and I've never had an abortion. But uh, I was, I waited two years to find out whether or not I might have vascular Ehlers-Danlos, and in that two-year period, I I have done everything I can to try and not get pregnant because women die around the age of 48. They risk uterine rupture, aortic rupture, and as the fetus grows, uh, the chances of this increases, plus the baby could die, of course, if the mother just bleeds to death internally. So uh, this is getting crazy. And what's even crazier is I saw Trump, uh, this, I can't believe this. This is what he said. The baby is born. The mother meets with the doctor. They take care of the baby. They wrap the baby beautifully. Then the doctor and mother determine whether or not they will execute the baby. Now, in New Jersey, we have newborns that are dying. And in 2016, I was warning our government, all ignored. Jane Philpott never got back to me. And then in February, uh, it was posted for the WHO, there are many newborn babies in New Jersey dying, and this is where H. longa cornis, it was actually first detected May 2017, and I saw this disaster coming, and the, the map is here, the next hot spots are shown, and sure doctors are told it's measles, well some doctors have never seen measles, and you know what? Look at the true data, people are pretty good about getting vaccinated, I'm seeing 97% coverage. Well, in Brazil, in 2012, they did field trials with Wolbachia, and two years after that, Arctic terns suffered a mass breeding failure. Now, Arctic terns, the migratory path, as you can see. Um, and what this has done is carried it up to the UK, and the UK was also declared measles-free, and then the following year, suddenly measles. Well, The Guardian is a tabloid now. They'll print anything for money. In fact, 90% of mainstream media are, are, is a, you know, they're, they're corporate owned, which means it's legal for them to lie. Okay, so eventually you're going to have to look at study proof. And all I've been doing is posting study proof. And it's female re researchers that are ahead of the curve on this. But they're being quashed. And how, they, how do they do it? They stop the funding. And then the threats come. Well, Dr. Lindzen, this is how it ties into the climate change thing, because the way to blame us all is saying it's our CO2 killing off all these, all these species. Because the, the Greta girl that's, that's cognitively impaired, she's saying, call it ecological breakdown. Well, the ecological breakdown happened when they put Wolbachia in the 80s, in a species that never had it, that behaves entirely different in water, uh, than the species that naturally carry it. Because I know you're told, oh, well, it's natural. It's in like 60 or 70 or 75 percent of insects. It's all natural. Must, that makes it okay. Well, snake venom is natural. If we put snake venom in 80s, there would be an outcry because people would get it. Eventually, these things die and decay and something else acquires it. Right? So look at the true data. We've got people, doctors doing a very good job making sure people uh, kids are immunized. Parents are, are quite on board with that. I've only met one true anti-vaxxer in my whole career in, in healthcare. Now, I know other people probably met more. <laughs> I haven't met that many, right? And they're not even that bold about it. They're kind of like, gee, I don't know if this is a good idea. So uh, rickettsiosis is, is the term for uh, the condition, and actually it's the rickettsiosis without the rash that's the deadliest and I suspect it's in the liver and so we're going to see a lot of ill human beings because it uh, Wilbachia likes to target the CNS 
the central nervous system, brain and spinal cord, uh, liver, lungs, heart, eyes, um, gonads, a lot of internal organs, and so on. Men are going to be more affected. So when these whales started dying and the uh, Adelaide penguins started having die-offs, and they were, the Adelaide penguins were observed for 50 years and only had two die-offs in the last nine years. And they coincided with these Wolbachia releases, relatively speaking, like within a, a year or two. And the thing is, uh, copods are a major, major food item for them, Jarman et al. You can look that up. This is what happens. Copods nibble on the, this larvae that behaves differently in the water. So um, we've got a disaster ahead of us, but I, I'm, I'll tell you what will happen. I'll tell you what will happen. Boys will be born with some female parts, and these are the areas, and it's already happening. So eventually, like whether you like me or not, <laughs> start looking at true data. And uh, mainstream media is lying to you constantly. So uh, I think it's high time to say, hey, you know, Rose Webster keeps posting stuff. She keeps getting censored. She keeps getting bullied and bashed. Well, maybe you should look at what I'm saying and, and look at the true data. And yes, they, there are some female researchers ahead of the curve. So uh, thanks for listening. But uh, the babies in New Jersey dying, shouldn't we be worried about what's going on there? Thanks again.